Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Travis here with Vandra.com. We're here at the World Congress 2014 and uh, we had it on good authority that the Tizen was here. This is uh, Samsung's, I guess, rival uh, open source uh, mobile operating system. It's uh, based off of Linux and uh, we've heard you know a lot about it. We've, we've actually wrote it, written up some articles in the past on Fandroid, but this is the first time we're actually seeing it running on hardware. So you can see here, this is just I guess a prototype smartphone uh, looks very similar to maybe like the Galaxy S4, but it's running Tizen, which is crazy. So uh, let's just go ahead. I'll kind of walk you through it, and you can see the way it behaves. It's very, very smooth. See, that's like 60 frames per second. Uh, it's got a drop-down notification area. Jump in your settings. You can see here some of your settings: connection, device, general, dot device doesn't really give you any information on the hardware itself, but uh, it is running Tizen. Jump back to the home screen. Um, it, it behaves fairly similar to the way Android does. So then you can jump in here and you can on press, drop it on there, and then you, it creates a shortcut. But the little shortcuts to the icons can also be extended. So you can pull it down and all of a sudden you have a, a widget. So uh, it kind of blurs the lines between shortcuts, icons, widgets, how they behave and what they are. And I like this. I think that's really, really cool. It's a neat little feature. Um, swiping down also brings up some additional features from these widgets. You can see here, you got your calendars. Here will bring up some controls for the gallery or video or whatnot. Finance. Uh, Twitter as well. So even in an icon, it's, uh, it supports the ability. I guess it's up to the developer when they make an application for this, for Tizen, you know, to support some additional functionality in the little widgets and shortcuts. So. A couple of home screens here, app drawer, I already showed you guys, dialer, and if I jump over to the side, there's a little swiping area, you can see there's uh, different like home screen profiles that you can kind of switch on the fly. Um, they're all located just with the little bezel swipe there. And, uh, there is a Tizen store, so even though this isn't get currently on the market, there are no devices that are available that offer Tizen. You know, they're already trying to get app, app, uh, app devs and developers you know, on board. Uh, so, uh, many of these games are HTML5 based and they run very well. So let's just go ahead and check out some of them. Uh, you got Asphalt 8. G Surfer, we're gonna open that one, and you can see here it's already running. 60 frames per second, HTML5. And it's, I mean, the game's hard, but. The other lady was doing very well. You know what? <laughs> Let's just jump back to the home screen. So. It's, uh, it's an interesting take. It's interesting take, and it, we'll be interested to see what Samsung is going to do with this. Um, right now, they're trying to get you know app developers on board, and although they haven't really announced any plans to uh, bring this to the market just yet, you can tell there's there's something brewing, and just their presence here at Mobile World Congress. You can see it's a pretty pretty significant. Uh, and right now they have it. It's very similar to Android, so they have it running on cameras and they want to get it running on a bunch of other things as well. It's, it's, it's interesting, I guess you can say. Um, so this is the competition, this is what we're dealing with. Um, uh, I guess that's just a look at Tizen uh, with Vandra.com. I'm Chris Travis at Mobile Congress 2014. We'll see you next time.